on our way up to the pumpkin patch that I set up at every single weekend in fall. This is actually weekend four. Is this weekend four? Weekend four of setting up at this pumpkin patch and it's day two. So I actually vlogged my day yesterday and today I'm gonna show you a ton of behind the scenes on how I check out my customers and how I package their purchases. I'm super excited that you're here with me today and Peyton is currently driving me up to the venue. My dad is driving his car there with all of my stuff in it because we are all over the place. This weekend, Peyton and I are actually moving to our new place. So our stuff is all over the place. Who has what car and what car are we using to move and what car are we using to do my display? And anyways, we're all over the place, but right now my dad is driving up and we fit everything in his car. My dad is actually helping me and Peyton is helping me today do my display. I love when they come to help me because we can do my display in just really, really quick. We're only gonna be here about 30 minutes before the event starts, but we are so quick. We know the drill. If you're new around here, my name is Cameron and I am the owner of the Crochet Boutique called Cameron's Cute Creations. I love setting up at craft shows. And here on YouTube, I love sharing behind the scenes, tips and tricks, industry secrets. Also taking you with me to these events so that you can learn more about how to sell at craft shows in your handmade business. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe because I actually have two good videos coming out every single week. So stay tuned for the rest of my season up at this pumpkin patch. Today should be a really good day. Yesterday I had my best day so far at this venue this year. So I'm hoping today is just as busy, if not more. Usually Sundays are a little bit slower, but sometimes, once in a while, you'll have a better Sunday than you do a Saturday. I'm really excited to show you my checkout station at craft shows, how I keep things organized. At the end of today's vlog, I will definitely go over what my best sellers were, how I did, and all of the details. Let's go get set up at the pumpkin patch. All right. <laughs> Got the whole team working while my mom's taking cash for me. <laughs> wash them too often you know but I, I wouldn't wash it uh, through the washing machine just because the palm gets kind of yeah. weird that's the only only problem but <laughs> you gonna do that one yeah, we are. awesome do you want to do cash or card uh, let's do card please. awesome I'm gonna give you a little look at my checkout station and the bags I use to check out my customers. So I use these white paper bags from Amazon and I got this stamp from Etsy. It works super well. I just had to re-ink the stamp, but it turned out really good. And I just bought ink off of Amazon as well. I will link everything in the description box for you. As far as my checkout stand, my dad built this for me. So I definitely wanna get him on the channel to do a little tutorial on how to make one. But I love that it has hooks on the side for my bags for easy checkout. Also back here, I have my yarn bag, I got a garbage bag, and I also have my charging block to plug in my card reader and my phone.
<laughs> I love the bear ones. I know, the bear ones are great. <laughs> so cute. Is it a little boy or girl? Boy. Oh, yeah, those are cute on boys. <laughs> yeah. Look at We're gonna do one. that one? Awesome. Yes. Did you want to do cash or card? Add card. Awesome. So that's about an hour to two-ish hours. It just depends. Yeah, I'm quick. <laughs> I do it over and over and over again. She's like, I got it down, guys. Yeah, I got, I got it down to a system. I go, yeah. I started when I was about 10, so yeah. I am making fuzzy chickens. The market was slowing down quite a bit in the evening, so I got this motivation to organize my checkout stand drawers and also this little tackle box I'll show you in a second that I organize a lot of the things that I bring to my shows as well. So I got these little dividers, I believe from Target, and I use them for my business cards all the time, and I did not realize they would fit perfectly in my drawer. So I did that. I put my pins for tagging on the top of my tackle box and took all of this junk out to reorganize it. I bring this little tackle box to every single show. I got it at Joann's last year. So if I can find a similar one or the exact one, I will definitely link it for you. It's super handy to bring to my shows because I can fit a ton of the things I need when I'm at my shows. Like for example, you'll see me organizing this twine that comes in handy for securing things or also tagging sometimes. I've got duct tape in there. Of course, my stamp that I was just showing you. The clothespins are really great for tagging. The scissors are, you know, a necessity. Necessity. I haven't organized this in so long, so it felt so good to finally get organized. Don't mind me just sitting on my bins because I'm trying to stay out of the sun, but we are almost done with the event, so we're about to tear down and go home. So today was good. I'll definitely keep you updated and let you know what my best sellers were and all the things once I get home and unpack. about a week and a half after the event, I wanted to hop on here, close out this vlog, just to let you know how the day went. It was a bit slower than Saturday was for me. So I actually did about half as good as I did on Saturday, but I kind of killed it on Saturday. So I wasn't even super mad about it or anything. Plus I was just so excited about the move that I just wanted to get home and finish unpacking, which we, I mean, we still have it. We're, we're not gonna be able to unpack for a little while, probably after my season is over, but um, I do have two more, no, two, no, three more weekends after this one of shows that I'm doing. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of those vlogs that I have coming up. But anyways, I sold so many chickens. I sold so many newborn items just like I did on Saturday. And it was a good day. I think the vendors across the street definitely affected my sales. And I think some of the other vendors as well on my side of the street, just because I'm pretty sure people, shoppers are stopping because the vendors across the street are right off the main road. And so I think a lot of people are stopping and shopping there and either don't find us because we're kind of tucked behind a building across the street or they come over and they already spent all their spending money, which is fair. I mean, I usually try to give myself a budget when I go to these things because I just wanna buy stuff from every booth. A Little bit of a bummer because Sundays used to be a bit busier for me at this venue. Actually, this venue in general used to be busier for me. So I am kind of rethinking what I wanna do for next year. I still have plenty of time to make that decision, but I at least on Sundays want to apply for the one across the street because the traffic seems to be much better over there. Thanks so much for coming with me today. I hope you 
you had fun in today's vlog. And if you want to do me a huge favor right now, take a picture of your screen, wherever you're tuning in from, and take a picture of whatever you're making, if you're crocheting something as well, and tag me on Instagram. I just want to see what you're making while watching the videos. And I love connecting with you over on Instagram. I love when you come with me to these things. I feel like I'm always so much more productive. I always have such a fun time. So thanks again so much. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to keep hanging out with you here on YouTube. So if you want to keep hanging out, I will see you, my friend, in this video right here. Bye.